Observance of source in all things. This is the principle that first source is present in all realities, through all manifestations of energy. It is interwoven in all things, like a mosaic whose pieces adhere to the same wall and are thus unified. However, it is not the picture that unifies the mosaic, but the wall upon which its pieces adhere. Similarly, first source paints a picture so diverse and apparently unrelated that there appears to be no unification. Yet it is not the outward manifestations that unify, it is the inward center of energy upon which the pieces of diversity are layered that unifies all manifestations. This centerpiece of energy is the collective storehouse of all life in all fields of vibration within the universe of wholeness. It is first source who divests itself in all forms through the projection of its source intelligence into all fragments of life. Thus, source intelligence, acting as an extension of first source, is the unifying energy that is the wall upon which all the pieces of life's mosaic adhere. Life flows from one energy source that links all to all and one to one. Observance of source in all things is the principle that all manifestations of life convey an expression of first source. It does not matter how far the unifying energy has been distorted or perverted, the source can be observed. It is the action of perceiving the unification of energy, even when the outward manifestations appear random, distorted, unrelated, or chaotic. When all manifestations of life are genuinely perceived as fragmentary expressions of first source, the vibration of equality that underlies all life forms becomes perceptible to the human instrument. Life initially emerges as an extension of source reality, and then, as an individuated energy frequency invested within a form. It vibrates in its pure, timeless state, precisely the same for all manifestations of life. This is the common ground that all life shares. This is the tone vibration of equality that can be observed within all life forms that unifies all expressions of diversity to the foundation of existence known as first source. If an individual is able to look upon any form of life with the outlook of equality, then they are observing source in all things. While this may seem like an abstract concept, it is actualized through the practice of looking for the outward and inward manifestations of first source. In a very real sense, the individual expects to observe the workings of source intelligence in every facet of their experience. It is the unassailable expectation that everything is in its rightful position performing its optimal function and serving its purpose to activate the fullest expression of its life in the present moment. It is the outlook that all life is in a state of optimal realization and experience regardless of condition or circumstance. It is the perception that life is perfect in its expression because it flows from perfection and that no matter how divergent its manifestations, our life is an extension of source reality. In light of the obvious turmoil and apparent destruction that accompanies life on Terra, Earth, this is an outlook or perception that seems naive. 
How can life, in all its forms and expressions, be perceived as optimal or perfect? This is the great paradox of life, and it cannot be reconciled with the human instrument's mental or emotional capabilities. It can only be understood in the context of the entity, which is deathless, limitless, timeless, and sovereign. Paradoxes exist because the human drama is too limited in scope and scale to allow a perception of wholeness to intervene and illuminate how the pieces of the puzzle are unified in perfect relation. The dimensions of time and space and the elements of energy and matter circumscribe the human drama. It is played out upon the stages of survival and dysfunctional behavior because of the hierarchy's methods of controlling information and manipulating conditions. The entity within the human instrument is largely unexpressed and underutilized in the human drama. And therefore, life's apparent perversions and imperfections are seen in isolation as impediments to perfection rather than perfection itself. Life is perfect in its resolve to expand and express an intelligence that is limitless. This is the fundamental purpose of life in all its diverse manifestations and this is the presence of first source, expressing itself as a vibration of equality, that can be observed in all things. Sensory input derived from the human instrument, is limited to frequencies in specific ranges, that only convey an echo of the source vibration. The true frequency is understood, through deliberate and focused contemplation of equality inherent in all things and the ability to penetrate beyond the picture of a thing to the origin of the picture. These insights require a new sensory system beyond the five senses that rule the human world in your time. These new senses are the outgrowth of the source code activation and represent the first stage of the transformation experience. With this new perceptual ability, the human instrument will be capable of sensing not only the presence of first source, but also the timeless essence within all life that is individualized and uniquely separate from first source. Calling forth the perceptions of the entity within the human instrument is the ideal method to access a lasting sensitivity to the source vibration. This is how an individual can develop the ability to observe source in all things. It is not only that first source is within every individual manifestation of energy, but is also the wholeness of life itself. Thus, the principle requires an observance of source in all its diverse forms of manifestation, as well as in the wholeness of life.